the chair and just make sure that you bring your cushion up to your lumbar area. Place your hands on your knees and ground your feet down. Close down your eyes. And welcome to your chair yoga practice today. Let's start to check in with our inhalations and our exhalations. How they're moving throughout the body. Are they short and shallow? Have you got a nice, long, rhythmic movement? Through yoga, we'll try to bring this into an even inhalation in for a count of three to four and breath out for three to four. All together, let's draw an inhalation in, long and deep. Feel long in the spine, open in the back of the throat. Purse the lips and create those wind swirls as you breathe out. The oceanic breath, long release. To create relaxation and comfort in the body. Relax the breath. And all together, draw in again, long and deep. Keep breathing in, feel long in the spine as you breathe in, opening up that doorway in the back of your throat. Purse your lips and create that long, deep inhalation, oceanic sound in the back of your throat as you breathe out. Relax the breath. Think of an intention for bringing you to your mat today. Whatever first comes to your mind's eye and draw in that intention long and deep through the inhalation. And then send it away with the exhalation to manifest. And relax the breath. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder now and gaze down and open the eyes looking at your feet. Bring awareness to the left side of the neck, noticing how that is feeling on the left side. Consciously breathe the breath in, sending the breath there to the left side of the neck, drawing it in, breathing in, all the way circling the ear and exhaling away, releasing, letting go of any tightness. And draw your head back to center and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And gaze down slightly at your feet. Bring your awareness there and notice how you're feeling on this side of the body as you slightly look down at your feet. Draw breath in long and deep. Breathe in. Imagine it's rising towards the ear, circling and cascading away with the exhalation of the neck, shoulder. Releasing, letting go of any tightness you're holding there. And draw your head back to center and drop your chin to chest. Breathe into the back of the neck here. Open, expand, release any tightness. Draw breath all the way from the lower spine, rising all the way up to the nape of the neck. Exhale, send breath away, long and deep, releasing. Letting go of any tightness you're holding here. Bring your head back to center and then drop your head back. Taking small sips of air through the nose here. Breathing in to the opening expansiveness of the front body. The breath rises, circling the chin and allowing that exhalation to feel like a waterfall cascading away, releasing, letting go of anything you're holding in the front body. Bring your head back to center, open your eyes and draw your hands alongside, saluting the sun as we rise our arms up towards the sky. Turn our palms down, send a breath away. As we reach out, feel that length in the spine. Broaden through the chest, shoulders back. Inhale in, come back, cactus your arms, press your chest forward, Drop your head back and send the breath away. 
Inhaling, cross your right arm over your left and exhale, tuck your chin, draw into your belly and send your breath out as you curl up into that thoracic top part of the spine, breaking up any fascia tightness. As you inhale in, float the arms alongside the body and draw your arms back up again. We'll do three sets of these. Exhale, turn the palms down and reach out. As if you're reaching out for someone, draw your shoulders back, broaden through the chest. Just feel that length in the spine. As you inhale in, come forward, press the chest, cactus the arms, spread your fingers and drop your head back. Cross your left arm over your right, hug your shoulders, tuck your chin, get into the thyroid and curl in like a little ball. Send your breath out. Slowly unwrap yourself and release the hands for the final time alongside the body. Inhale, rise up, sweep that energy into your hands. As you turn your palms down and exhale away. Inhale in, draw your hands into cactus shape. Spread your fingers, press your chest forward and drop your head back. Cross your arms any way you like, hug your shoulders, tuck your chin and round into that little ball. Breathe out. And slowly, slowly unwrap yourself. And let's come with our left hand resting, holding onto the left side of the chair. Right hand sweeps up and over top of the head. And turn and look under the right armpit. You really reach with those right fingertips to feel that length in the right side body. Always breathing in for a count of three to four and breathing out for a count of three to four. And on your last exhalation, right hand hugs the chair and left hand sweeps, breathing into the left side body. Reaching, reaching with those left fingers, feeling the extension on the back of the left arm as well. Long, deep inhalations and exhalations. Left hand reaches to the chair again and right hand sweeps. Three sets of these to our second set now. Breathing in and breathing out. Feet are planted to the earth. Knees are hip width distance apart. On your last breath, take your right hand down and left hand sweeps. Turning, looking under the left armpit. Open, expand the left side as you feel grounded to the earth. On your last set, left hand to the chair, right hand opens, expands to the left side as you look under your right armpit. Drawing inhalations in and exhalations out. Breathing in and releasing, letting go of anything that's holding in the body that you no longer wish to keep. Right hand down for the final time, left hand sweeps. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in light and exhale darkness. And on your last breath, bring your hands out in front of you and clasp them around your back, holding onto the hands and folding forward over the legs, reaching the arms as high as the body allows. Sending a big breath away here. And on your last breath, start to rise up. Bring the pillow back behind the lumbar, hands down to the legs, close down the eyes, send a big breath out. As we keep moving, expanding, opening, releasing, and letting go through each breath and each movement. Let's reach around and grab our strap behind us. Get our loop and put it through our right foot. And then cup the strap, drawing the right foot up high, curling the toes towards the face. Feeling that length in the back of that right leg, stretching that calf muscle, hamstring all the way along. 
Keep breathing, breathing in for count of three to four and releasing for three to four. And pause between each breath. Slowly, slowly release the left hand and use the right hand to help support the right leg as you open, expand it out towards the right side. Just remember to try and keep long in the spine. If you feel like you're starting to scoop down like this, you want to scoot yourself back. That's it. <laughs> Keeping an eye on you. <laughs> breathing in and breathing out. Just notice where you're feeling it and send the breath there. And then start to draw that right foot back and draw the knee up hugging onto the shin, leave the strap where it is, and start to draw and hug the chest towards the knee, and then gently drop your head down, forehead down towards the knee. You wanna roll, roll into a little ball, a little deeper, go. As, as come, make it as comfortable as you can, but you are actually squeezing in to the right side of your digestive system your bowel area that hugs all the way, spirals from left to right. And on your last breath, unwrap the arms and just take the straps and draw that right ankle across the top of the left leg. So we open, expand our hips here. Just gently cut the left, uh, the, the right foot and the knee. Now you'll start to feel this opening in the outer right hip area. Start to draw that right hip back a little bit and start to fold forward over the leg. Stop when you feel you're challenging yourself, but you're still being kind to your body. Long, deep breaths. Remember your count of breath. Breathing in for three to four and breathing out for three to four. Pausing between each breath. We stay here for a little bit longer than the other poses because we really need to release and let go of any tightness here. Any past wounds, troubles, worries we hold in our body, they stay in our Ayurveda and we hold them in our hips. Find peace and light in every thought. Try to let that hip bridges go by like clouds in the sky, that constant chatter in the mind. Slowly, slowly start to fold back out of the pose and draw the strap up and drop the foot back down towards the earth, changing sides. Send a loop through the strap and start to draw your leg up. Make sure the right foot's planted to the earth. Breathing in, <laughs> keep a long spine. <coughs> Draw the toes towards your face and engage those left calf muscles. Really press away with that left heel so you try to extend the leg. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, low breath. And slowly release, right hand down. And that left leg sweeps open towards the left. Try to use the strap to help bring it up as high as you can. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Find some comfort, some super here, we call it in yoga. And on your last breath, draw it back. Start to draw the knee up. You can use the strap to help you. And start to hug on to that shin, keeping that right foot planted forward. And then start to draw in tightly into that left rib cage dropping the head down and curling into that little ball. As your elbows hug in to the side body, feel relaxed. Breathing in and breathing out. And on your last breath, release, grab the strap and draw that right that ankle across the right leg and start to feel some comfort here drawing that left hip back a little bit as you start to fold forward with the exhalation just feel like a soft gaze looking down at the mat spread the toes of bent knee leg 
pressing into the mat with the right foot. You're opening up not only that outer left hip area or hip area, also opening up the back body with this gentle moving forward. So just keep breathing those fluid breaths. Drawing in, count for three to four, and release for three to four. Pause between each breath. So your breath is your mantra, it keeps you steady in the mind, releasing those chit vrittis. And slowly, slowly start to unfold yourself. Drop your foot back down towards the earth and release the strap. And send the strap back behind the chair. And bring yourself back seated. And let's just center again, making sure our feet are hip width distance apart, knees hip width distance apart, shoulders nice and broad, nice and long in the spine. You're sitting back into the chair, keeping the spine long. Close down the eyes. We've moved from centering to our neck. Moving through, opening, expanding the hips, the legs. And let's start to raise that right hand out, open the eyes, and start to gently try to keep the arms straight and just move the wrist in that circular motion. Beautiful. Join in, raise up the left foot, and start to move just the ankle. So try and keep the legs straight and just rotate the ankle. Doesn't matter how we look. And go air the other way. If you went clockwise, go anti clockwise. And slowly, slowly bring your right hand and your left foot down and raise the left arm out. Start to circle just the wrist, keeping the arms straight. Well done. And then raise the right foot and start to rotate just the ankle. Breathing in and breathing out. Do notice that one side's always different to the other. <laughs> and go the other way, anti clockwise. My left foot always gives me issues. <laughs> and last breath and bring yourself back down to centre and let's just ragdoll it out here just start to fold over the legs and allow yourself to just fold all the way to the earth the feet, the hands rested the neck relaxed not holding anything up just send a big breath out here And slowly, slowly, slowly start to unwrap yourself. All the way, unwind yourself. Beautiful. Sweep your arms when you're ready alongside the body. Draw them up towards the sky. Reaching, reaching. Feel that length in the spine. As the sit bones move through towards the chair and you're reaching with your fingers, feel how long you make your spine feel. Open the arms out shoulder height, just leave them there and just start to turn and look off towards the right. Breathing in and breathing out, feeling strong arms, shoulders are relaxed. And turn the palms up and draw them back up towards the sky, look up. And with the exhalation, float the arms back down shoulder height and then turn and look off towards the left. You'll notice with holding the arms up, you're feeling strong, you're supporting them. And rise up, back up towards the sky, breathing in and breathing out. And then with the exhalation, just ragdoll it out again, all the way, relax, breath out, fold over the lock legs and allow the hands to dangle towards the mat. Feel long in the spine, relaxed in the neck. And slowly, slowly start to draw yourself up and raise your arms out high like you nearly, 
you can raise them so your ears are either side of your arms. Beautiful. Imagine you have a ball and a block between the elbows and the hands. So you're hugging into those. You're looking forward, soft gaze. Breathing in and breathing out. You're leaning forward slightly, long in the back. And with the exhalation, just bring the hands all the way back down to the tops of the legs. Well done. Notice the sensation in the shoulder area. We're going to slowly, slowly start to walk over. We're going to go into our warrior legs. So Barry, if you want to stand up, drawing our pelvis to the corner of the chair. And we're taking our right foot out. And we want to extend that left foot away. So just check in and play with that back leg a little bit. So ultimately we'd like our right heel and our back foot arch to be in one line. But doing great. That's it. Beautiful. Can you press your foot flat now, Nelly? That's it. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. Arms out, shoulder height. Gaze over right middle figure. So keep the torso nice and long in the middle. Feel strong in the legs as you press away with the little toe side of the foot of that back leg. You feel strong, supported. You're opening, expanding the legs. Breathing in and breathing out. Sorry, I was just looking at Barry. I couldn't see him behind the chair. <laughs> Let's turn our right palm up and slide our left hand down the back leg. Open, expand into that reverse warrior pose. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep the legs strong. It's like you're pulling both legs apart. But you're feeling comfort super there as well. And on your last breath, bring your hands back down and draw your left and right feet back together and start to walk over to the other side. Left foot, plant it down. Get into the corner of the mat and press away with that back foot. So you're really like pressing away like you're stretching out a piece of elastic there. Get nice and tall in the midline, open the arms up and then turn and look over the left middle finger. Beautiful everyone, breathing in and breathing out. Try to lift your back arm up a little bit, that's it. Great, breathing in, feeling that opening, expanding, strengthening in the legs. Turn the left palm up and let's reverse the warrior, sliding the right hand down the back leg, sweeping the left arm up towards the sky. Cheek and arm gently rest if they reach there, breathing in and breathing out. And on your last breath, bring your arms back down, draw yourself back down, come and sit down in your chair again if you still, and plant the feet back down towards the earth, bring the feet hands to the tops of the legs. And just notice that sensation in the body now, in the leg area, the pelvis, you'll feel, you'll know in your body, yeah, the gentle vibration of feeling that you've opened, expanded the legs, pelvis. Send the breath away here, long and deep. And then slowly, slowly open the eyes and reach around and hold on with the left hand to the back of the chair, right hand to the outside of the left leg. We're going to do our spinal twist. Get nice and tall and then turn and look over the left shoulder. Breathing in and breathing out. You get long each time that you breathe in and maybe you find a little bit more micro movement of turn. Remember not to strain the neck, just turn and look at the eyes more than straining the neck. And on our last breath, start to unwrap yourself, 
and go to the other side. Right hand holds on to the chair, left hand to the outside of the right leg. Get nice and tall, and then turn from the belly, broaden through the chest, and look over the right shoulder. Long deep inhalations and exhalations. Use that left hand to sort of draw yourself around, twist a little bit deeper. Find a little bit more room there, but always comfort. Breathing in and breathing out. And unwrap yourself and we'll do three of these. Right hand to reaches to the outside of the leg, left hand to the chair, get nice and tall, and turn and look over the left shoulder. Breathing in for three to four, and breathing out for three to four. And slowly switch to the other side. Right hand reaches to the chair, left hand to the outside of the leg. Nice and tall, looking over the right shoulder. Feel that squeeze in the belly organs, it's like wringing out a towel. And squeeze and get into the digestive system here. And also the thoracic, the top of the spine. And the neck. So much going on here with reaching, getting into the back of the left arm and with the arm reaching to the chair. Final set, right hand reaches to the back, or to the leg, and left hand reaches to the chair. Breathing in and breathing out. Just notice the sensations in the body, where you're actually feeling each movement, each stretch, each opening. Send the breath to where you need it. And on your last breath, unwrap yourself and final side. Right hand reaches, left hand to the leg, and look over the right shoulder. Rhythmic breath, slow movements, gentle openings, mind relaxes. And on your last breath, unwrap yourself and reach your arms up towards the sky now. Just notice you've been twisting, squeezing the spinal column and the belly organs. Now you're lengthening the spine. And then just ragdoll it out. Half fold over the legs, release the arms now. Not holding anything up. Feeling that expansiveness in the lumbar area in the back body. Feel relaxed in the facial muscles. And slowly, slowly come back up out of the pose. And I want you to just bring your hands, you might have to sit forward in your, on your chair, and bring your hands to the back of the sacrum area, this area here, plant the hands there. And I want you to draw your elbows in as best you can towards each other. So it's like a seated uh, camel pose, we call it. Pressing the hips forward, the chest forward, and drop the head back. Just like we did in our opening sun salutations. Breathing in and breathing out. Well done, everyone. And then slowly let go of the arms and just ragdoll it out, allowing yourself to fall forward. Relax the head down. We're going to do three of these. If you're feeling dizzy in any way, just keep yourself seated and looking forward or let me know. Sometimes when we move in these postures, looking back and then looking forward, we do get some little dizziness. Bring our hands down around to the back of the sacrum again, squeezing our elbows in. Pressing our hips forward, our chest forward, then drop our head back. Breathing in, small sips of air through the nose. Feeling that open expansiveness of the chest as well as the shoulder space. Whole front body, expanding the heart flesh. And slowly, slowly, unwrap your arms. Allow yourself to ragdoll it out. 
all the way, release all the way over the legs, extend the breath out. And just notice when you go slow, how everything is just relaxing and you're feeling that sensation in the back body, the neck. And final time, start to rise up, spread your hands, bring them around to the sacrum area, hug your elbows in towards each other, press your chest forward, drop your head back and take those small sips of air through the nose, breathing in and breathing out. And for each inhalation, ask for things you'd like to receive. Through the exhalation, let go of things you no longer wish to hold in the body. And then your last breath, unwrap yourself. And finally, fold over the legs. Take the pressure off the shoulders. Notice the sensation as your head relaxes down towards the earth. And then slowly, slowly, slowly start to unwrap yourself. And come back into your seated position, resting your pillow behind you. Sit bones move back towards the back of the mat, close down the eyes and just center for a minute. Let's lie and breath it out here. No one's looking at you. Just like the New Zealand warriors, you wanna draw a long deep breath in, stick your tongue out and release. And relax the breath. Notice any sensations in the body now. The shoulders tingling, the wrists maybe. And then open the eyes and start to walk your right foot and your left foot over towards the right corner. And start to point the feet away. Your right foot may extend a little bit more than the left. Start to open up with both arms like goalposts as you sweep them to the left and then over towards the right. And then turn and look under the left armpit. Long deep inhalations and exhalations as you point those toes away, you start to feel a sensation in the outer side of the left leg and this left arm as you reach. And your last breath and come back and start to walk yourself over towards the left corner of the mat. Point the toes away and start to reach up and start to fold over towards the left side. You're pointing your toes to the left, you're reaching towards the left and then you turn and look under the right armpit. It's sort of like two goal posts. You've got holding on like you've got a ball between your hands. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Point those right toes away. See if you can get into that sensation of the IT band on that right side. And on your last breath, bring your arms out in front of you. Cross your right arm over your left, creating that X shape. Plant your feet back down and draw your hands and arms towards your face. <coughs> if you have a little bit more movement, you can wrap your wrists as well, but it's a little challenge. You don't have to. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay. Drop that right shoulder and left shoulder down so they feel in line with each other. And on your last breath, unwrap yourself. And this time we go the other way, left arm underneath right, create your X shape. And then draw your hands towards your face. If you want to start to wrap your arms or your wrists a little bit more, go for it. And drop down your shoulders so they both feel relaxed in one line. Beautiful, keeping the breath fluid. Breathing in and breathing out. And in your last breath, unwrap yourself. And let's just move yourself forward a little bit in the chair. We'll do a similar pose to what we just did with 
our arms, we're going to take our right leg across to make like an X shape. Now either just stay there or start to either point the toes towards that left uh, thigh, I'm sorry, calf muscle I should say, or start to wrap the toes around. So you'll start to feel the sensation, doesn't matter how deep you're going, you're starting to feel this sensation of the right leg very alive. Just bring your hands to the tops of the legs. Sit up nice and tall. And on your last breath, unwrap yourself and we'll go the other way, taking the left leg across, creating that X shape. And then try to bring those left toes as best you can around the outside of that left the right calf muscle. Ouch. <laughs> no ouching. If it's ouching, back up. <laughs> it is a funny sensation. If we were to do both together, we would bring our left arm under the right and create these eagle leg type style. Oh, it's whatever you like to do there. So that's bringing, well done, eagle, seated eagle. Breathing in and breathing out. And on your last breath, unwrap yourself and start to move back to the chair. We want you to raise your toes up. So lift your feet up and spread your toes really nice and wide. And do the same with the fingers if you like. We really want to open and expand all this tightness we get with arthritis and all sorts of stuff uh, in our joint area. So just spread your toes nice and wide. Ragdoll it out and start to move. If you can, bring your hands underneath your toes, <laughs> underneath your feet, and just Use the palms of your hands to keep drawing those toes, spread them apart. Relax the head down, don't hold anything up. Just feel that expansiveness in the toes. Open up. And then slowly, slowly start to unwrap yourself, draw yourself all the way back up. And sit down back into that lovely seated position. Bring the hands back down to the tops of the legs. Close down your eyes. Send a big long breath out here. <coughs> and then slowly, slowly, we're going to bring our feet together. Maybe you need to move forward again, bringing our feet together and spreading our toes out into our seated Baddha Konasana pose. Sitting on the edge of the chair is probably a great way to be having the sensation of the pelvis moving forward. Just bring the hands to the tops of the legs. So really allow yourself to almost feel as if you're falling forward, but support yourself with your hands onto the tops of the legs and start to fold forward slightly, bringing the torso forward. Be mindful to sit nice and solidly to the chair. Releasing into the inner legs here, opening up the back body with that slight forward bend. Soft gaze and relaxed face. Breathing in and breathing out. It is a weird sensation sitting like this, but you're doing great. Start to draw the knees towards each other and then open them up. As you breathe, in, as you squeeze in, draw into the pelvis area and relax out. Squeeze into the pelvis. As you do this, you draw into the belly and relax out. One more time, squeeze in, draw into the pelvis, squeeze tightly, hold for a couple of breaths and relax out. Beautiful. And start to bring our feet back down and sit back down into our chair. We're kind of coming into some of the final poses today. Let's reach our right hand up towards the sky and take our left hand on our right wrist. Start to move over towards the left side slightly. So start to just keep tipping your body all the way over until you can't go any further. 
and then turn and look under the right armpit. So we're always lengthening the spine, we're twisting, getting into that spinal twist, but also opening the side body up a lot as well. One more breath and come up and change sides. Left arm reaches, right hand grips onto the wrist and start to move over towards that right side until you can't reach or fall any deeper. And then turn and look under the left arm. Feel that expansive stretch from the hip all the way along to the arms. And on your last breath, bring your hands back down to the tops of the legs and close down your eyes and notice the sensation in the body opening, expanding that side body space. Send a breath out. Let's all together take a long deep breath in, breathe it in long and deep and then relax the breath out, keep going, keep counting, one, two, three, four, breathe out long and deep Then take three small sips of air to the lower belly, hold for three, three small sips of air to the lower ribs, hold for three, three small sips of air to the upper chest, heart, lungs, hold it all for a count of eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All breath out. Let's start to move into our relaxation part of the class today. Sitting comfortably, but keep our spine nice and long. Let's start to bring awareness to our left toe, left big toe, rise it up. The remaining toes of the left foot, rise them up. And then gently plant the whole foot back down towards the mat, relaxing the whole left foot. Bring awareness now up the top of the left leg towards the left knee. Awareness to the shin and the calf, the back of the leg, front and back of the knee. Allow it to feel a little heavier, released more towards the mat. Draw your awareness now to the top of the left leg, back and front of the leg. Allow it to relax more to the chair. Joining in the hip of the left side, pelvis, sacrum, all relax. Drawing your attention now from the left hip all the way up the side body to the left armpit. Circling the left shoulder and the whole extension of the left arm. Allow it now, the left arm, to dangle beside the chair. Fingers tingle. Whole left side relaxed. And then bring that left hand up and palm faces towards the sky, resting on the top of the leg. Draw your attention now to the left side of your neck and all the way along the left side of your face. Crown of the head. Move now to the right side. Bring your attention to the right side of the face, the neck, the right shoulder. Whole extension of the right arm, hand and fingers. Release the right arm now and let it dangle to the outside of the chair. Feel the sensation tingling in the fingers as you draw the hand, the right hand, and rest the palm facing up onto the top of the right leg. Bring your attention now to the right armpit. Draw a line 
all the way down to your right hip. Allow the whole right side from the head to the hip to relax. Feeling equal to the left side. Front and back body relax. Now bring your attention to your right hip, right sacrum and right side of the pelvis. Relax it all down. Bringing in the right leg, front and back at the top of the leg. Equally front and back to the knee of the right leg. Allow it to relax more. Sink a little deeper to the mat, to the chair. Almost like left and right knees are starting to splay open gently. Now bringing your attention to the right lower leg ankle, foot, raise all five toes towards the sky of the right foot, and then relax the toes down. We're now in touch with you, feeling supported, relaxed, in a safe place. Taking your right hand inside your left and touching your thumb feeling gently relaxed to the pelvis. <coughs> no longer thinking about your in-breath or your out-breath. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth and relax your jaw. Keep the eyes soft as if they're lying in tiny hammocks. Back body is supported. Shoulders are relaxed. The mind chatter floats on by like clouds in the sky. Try not to plan your day here. every tingling sensation from the tongue to the teeth to the cheeks to the nose to the lips to the jaw to the forehead the crease between the brow if the shoulders have raised up a little bit allow them to melt down
can just rest the hands back into that cupping, touching the palms. As you draw your right hand towards the sky and curl down the three middle fingers, let's move into finishing with Nadi Shadana today, alternate nostril breathing. Placing the right thumb gently over the right side of the nose. If you feel comfortable pressing the two middle fingers to the third eye between the brow, go for it. Otherwise, just curl down the fingers. Draw breath in through the left side of the nose. And seal with the little finger and release the thumb, send breath out through the right. As you draw breath in through the right side of the nose. Then seal with the little thumb and breathe out through the left. Breathe in again through the left side of the nose. Seal with the little finger and release the thumb, send breath out through the right. Bring your hands together at your heart space. Creating that cupping action in the middle of the hands. Check in with your intention you made at the beginning of the practice today and scan how the body feels. Remember always, just like the lotus flower sinks to the body's bottom every night, that it rises and opens and starts afresh each day. Namaste everyone, have a beautiful day. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Mm. Centering when you center yourself. And just 